Hi folks, it's Neil from ECS Coffee on a cold blustery day here in Canada and we need some coffee. So today we're looking at the Braun Multiserve Coffee Brewer, which is their first entry into the Specialty Coffee Association recognized brewer category. And for those of you that don't know what it is, you can Google it, but basically it's about water, heat, temperature, and coffee to, to water ratio. Uh, for one liter, it's 55 grams of coffee. So this machine has met the standards. You can kind of see they have the little approved logo here. And the SCA are the people that basically um, work with baristas and coffee producers around uh, the world to sort of set the standards for what is considered a good cup of coffee. So what do we have here in the brunt? Kind of a neat machine, uh, stainless steel exterior. There are a few models to this. We have one um, that has the coffee and the drip salt. There is another model that has a, uh, a water function. Don't know if you really need that, which would just uh, divert the, um, the, the water away from the coffee and give you hot water, kind of like a kettle that would take a little bit too long in my opinion. But as with most manufacturers, they tend to make a few different models of these machines so that the big box stores can have one with a few less features and the specialty stores can have one with sort of all the bells and whistles. So let's look at this machine. What do we like about it? Um, I, I do like the way it's set up. You have your, your I mean, a lot of plastic as, as is typical of these machines, stainless steel on the outside, gold tone filter, um, like where the water tank is. Uh, also removable, you can come off so you can take it over to your sink, which I really like for, for a whole machine. Comes with a water filter as well. Um, nice glass pot ergonomically designed with a, a brew through lid, a uh, nice flip up here. And we also have a little feature here for if you wanna make one cup of coffee and you can also throw a travel mug in here as well. Uh, some neat things about this machine is that it does have a drip stop. So if you want to pour a cup of coffee halfway through, it might be a little strong, but you can drip stop it, take your craft out, pour a cup, put it back. As long as you do it within a couple minutes, you should be okay. So a uh, neat thing about this machine though is the, the, f the features and functionality for an SCA brewer. Typically, uh, you know, we, we've looked at Bonavita Technivorm as the market leaders, um, in my opinion, in the, in the, the drip brewer category. Um, and we've seen Breville and Cuisinart and Albron come into the SCA certified brewers. Uh, this one has some, some great features for the home user that wants a great cup of coffee. Uh, we've got a clock here, which I haven't set. So let's, let's do that, see how easy that is. I think if I remember from the manual, I might press it a couple of times. Let's just see what happens here. Or do I have to turn it on first? Maybe I have to turn it on first. Oh, here we go. Press no clock. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we'll press set to go through the hours. So uh, let's call it, it's probably around 12 p.m. here. I'm assuming we press that again. And then we get, there we go. So we're set. And then auto on, I guess you press and hold that probably. Yeah, and then you can do your auto on. So you can have it come on in the morning, whatever time you want, ready to brew, um, and off you go. Uh, which is, which is kind of neat. It also has a functionality where the machine will shut itself off after a certain amount of time um, for energy saving mode. So, a uh, little clean light here, which will come on when it, you need to descale the machine. But what we really like is what we have on this little panel here and this little knob up here. So we have light gold and gold and bold, light gold and bold, say that three times fast. Uh, the gold one is the one I would always press because that's gonna get your gold cup standard by the SCA. And that's what we all want. Bold will obviously make it a little bit stronger and, and light will obviously make it a little bit lighter. Uh, over ice you can press as well, which you don't press the bold button. But the cool thing is you can actually set the amount of coffee you wanna get. So right down here from a five ounce, why anybody would spend the time to brew a five ounce coffee, I have no idea, but typically you'd probably do an eight, 12, or you want to do your travel mug at 16 or 20, half a pot and then a full pot of coffee. I think for most people, you're probably gonna do a full pot of coffee. Um, however, maybe in the morning, rather than having one of the capsule machines like a Keurig or an espresso or something along those lines, if you wanna to go to a, a drip style coffee brewer where you wanna brew yourself a travel mug, have it ready to go, this is probably a great machine for you. So let's uh, get going and see how it works. I have not um, activated the filter, it's a charcoal filter let it sit in some water for a few minutes, then you can throw it in, but we're gonna just bypass that for today and we're gonna make us some coffee. So one of the things they've given you is a, is a scoop with little measurements as to how much you're supposed to put in. And I believe for a pot, and it's got two sizes, you can kind of see this here, you can get that on video. Um, you just put 10 of these, the big ones, in for a pot of coffee. So let's grab our gold tone filter. We're using Zavita Coffee, our, one of our suppliers up here in Canada, makes great coffee. And we're gonna throw 10 of these in. And you can do this much quicker, of course, but. And then what we'll do is we'll brew it and 
Maybe we'll see if we can do a time lapse and see how long it takes to actually brew a cup of coffee. That was five, six, seven. I bet you're almost like bang on. Um, I don't see. It's gonna be eight. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna get a little bit more. I have it pre portioned, but most people don't buy it this way. We're just pretty lucky here. And I'm gonna do about 10. That's gonna be around 10. I'm eyeballing it because that's what I do, because I'm a guy, and this guy is just don't follow the rules. Uh, spread it out a little bit. And then we're gonna do a full pot of coffee. So we turn this to full. We're going to fill up our water, and as you said, you can take this away if you like and, and fill it. But we're gonna fill it right up here. Hoping I have enough water in this doohickey. I'm gonna have to grab myself another another water pitcher from my assistant Wendy, who can pour it from the back. <laughs> but you gotta go right up to the line, Wendy, right up to my finger right there. I can see. Oh, excellent. You can see the line. Fantastic. The line. That is teamwork. Whoa. Perfect. Alrighty, so put the lid back on, flip that back over, and then we're going to, we have, we have some coffee, make sure you don't have it in drip stop or you're going to be in trouble, let's make sure it's in coffee. Um, we are on and we're going to go gold and let's see what happens. So maybe uh, what we'll do is we'll time lapse this and we can watch the coffee brew so you don't have to sit through, I think it's about seven minutes for this to brew, but let's see how long it takes. So one of the uh, things about SCA is the brewer is supposed to brew a pot in under eight minutes. Now this uh, pot is about 51 ounces. A lot of home pots are 40 to 48, so it's a little bit larger. Uh, you can see from the, we, we filled it to the max line for full pot. We got what looks like nine cups, although uh, those would be pretty small cups if you were actually gonna do on 50 ounces. So uh, for some reason, all the manufacturers use, in my opinion, which European style cups when they're in North America, it doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, we, we are now done. We have our warming plate on, which is great. And it has a freshness indicator letting you know how long it has been sitting. Although I don't know what 56 means because it just ended. So maybe it's gonna count down. I guess we'll see as we're doing this um, to let you know it's an hour and, and less, and, and then you should throw it out and maybe an hour, maybe it goes more, I'm not quite sure, let's see. But anyway, so smart thing to do here would be to close it off so you don't have any extra dripping, uh, especially when you get to the end of the cycle. We let it go all the way, but most people don't. They tend to grab their coffee early, so close the drip stop, and then you can pour your lovely cup of coffee. So, let's see, here we go here. And that is a nice, dark, very hot cup of coffee, which we like. So, let's see, what else we have? Uh, for the cup shelf, this would be where you're gonna make your own, just a cup of coffee. Um, and one of the smart things is that the, the heater will not go on when you're brewing just a cup of coffee. So you can actually, if you have a travel mug here, you can put it down there, it's a smart heater. So I'm assuming if I was to do something, it's still hot right now, so it's showing me. Um, but if I would just had this on say 16 ounce, or in this case it would be an eight ounce brew, we would uh, put the corresponding number of scoops in, we would fill the water up to the eight ounce indicator on here, and we would get a cup of coffee, which is great after we put our coffee in here, obviously. So really really cool that you, you have that that functionality and it just flips up out of the way which we like now uh as someone that deals with a lot of people looking for an aesthetic in their kitchen i do like this machine um although i'm a little i'm not quite sure i get the fluorescent green it's it's not bad but i'm not sure that that's going to go with a ton of kitchens it might have been nicer if they'd done that in maybe an led light or something around here um but uh, it is it is a pretty solid machine overall and again the stainless is nice this sticker does come off so you don't have to worry about that so it looks like yeah fresh 55 it is counting down uh which is great which means oh and 54 so what it means is it's telling you that this was brewed um and we're counting down from 60 minutes down to zero. So uh, it's gonna give you sort of an indication as to how, how long you should your coffee sit. In my opinion, it shouldn't sit more than 20 minutes on a burner, but uh, you know, to each his own. So most people, if you bring a pot, you're probably gonna go through it in an hour anyway. Uh, overall, like the machine, like the, the handled carafe, um, you know, we like the, the, uh, the SCA certification is probably the most important thing for us. Over ice function, I don't know a lot of people that are gonna do it. You have to have ice in your, in your carafe. Um, it's just gonna brew it at, at a different speed. 
Um, I don't know how many people actually use that in a home machine at this point, but it seems like everyone that's going into this market tends to want to have an over ice function. Uh, so it is there. Uh, and again, the programmability is great. So any questions about this, please ask below and we'll get you the answers. My name is Neil. We just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So yay, we'll be doing something exciting about that in the next couple of weeks. Please subscribe. And uh, if you have uh, any questions about any cert SCA certified machine, pop on in or shoot us a message because we do carry Technoborn, Bonavita, uh, Breville, um, Cuisinart, and a whole bunch of others. Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you.